S&P 500 company profits are tipped to contract for a third straight quarter. Hello, I'm Kyle Rodder, and in this week's IG Macro Intelligence, we preview the Q2 reporting season, highlight the key themes to watch, assess the market's fundamentals, and analyze the charts of three US indices. Analysts are forecasting another contraction in earnings for the second quarter, marking the third successive quarter of negative earnings growth for the market. Aggregate EPS for the S&P 500 is forecast to decline by 7.2%, with forecasters downgrading expected earnings as the reporting period approaches. The commodity-sensitive materials and energy sectors are tipped to post the biggest contractions of 31.4% and 48.3% respectively. Healthcare and information technology are also expected to deliver negative earnings growth. Remarkably, analysts estimate relatively resilient corporate profits for the calendar year, despite fears of macroeconomic conditions deteriorating further. Factset's figures suggest EPS will be slightly higher in 2023 than in 2022, and approximately 12% higher in 2024. This would suggest that equity analysts are pricing in a probable soft landing in US stocks, with risk to the downside and scope for disappointment regarding company guidance elevated. The S&P 500 has delivered a strong and unexpected 15% return so far in 2023, defying the bearish expectations going into the year. Crossing the halfway point of the year and entering the reporting period, the question is whether this strong performance can be sustained in the final half of 2023. Many call the S&P 500's trend higher a hated rally, a move higher in the market that comes despite ostensibly unfavorable fundamentals. There are two knocks on the market right now. The first is stretched valuations. Although far from the elevated levels experienced during the post-pandemic everything bubble, the trailing price to earnings ratio is still historically elevated. This is despite tepid earnings and rising interest rates which ought to compress earnings multiples. The second major criticism of the market right now is the narrowness of the rally. Although the cap-weighted S&P 500 is up by around 15% in 2023, the equal weight index is up a more modest 4 to 5%. When stripped of the top seven stocks in the market, the colloquially known S&P 493 is practically flat. The phenomenon has been driven by the enormous advance of mega cap tech stocks, which have surged amidst optimism about the apparently huge growth generated by artificial intelligence. Here are three themes to watch this earnings season. With analysts forecasting an emerging recovery in earnings growth, commentary from corporates will be crucial to gauge whether these expectations are shared. Macroeconomic forecasters and even the US Federal Reserve suggest a technical recession is likely in the short term. Although an earnings recession has already technically occurred on Wall Street, forward earnings imply an actual economic contraction will be avoided. Profit margins have stayed relatively elevated even as earnings growth slows, with companies exhibiting an ability to pass on increased costs to consumers. Backset data suggests margins were likely eroded in Q2 despite generally lower input costs as demand cooled in several areas of the economy. Ongoing strength in margins will boost the case for resilient profits going forward. However, it may also fuel debate over more aggressive tightening from policymakers if it signals stubborn price pressures. As already discussed, the rally in US equities has been driven by a narrow set of very large technology companies which could benefit from the expected growth in artificial intelligence. Although the sector does not encompass many of these companies, the forward price to earnings ratio of information technology stocks is at a rich premium to long-term averages. Investors will also search for signs that companies are already incorporating AI into their businesses and gauging its tangible impacts, if any, on profitability. There are three markets to watch this earnings season. The S&P 500 is trading in a short-term uptrend. However, momentum to the upside appears to be fading. The weekly RSI is not yet overbought, suggesting in the bigger picture a continued trend higher is possible. Resistance might be found at trendline resistance or resistance at 4550, 
Support, meanwhile, may be found at 42.90. Momentum appears to be slowing on Wall Street's tech-driven rally. Bearish divergence is emerging on the weekly RSI for the NASDAQ as the market runs into resistance at 15,300. A break of that level could open a push to all-time highs. Previous resistance around 13,700, which overlaps with a 20-week moving average, could draw in dip buyers. The daily charts are indicating short-term weakness for the New York Stock Exchange FANGS Plus Index. The trend remains to the upside, however, the price is slipping below the 20-day moving average, suggesting a possible pullback is in play. The key downside level is just below 7,500. The next level to the upside to watch is all-time highs at around 80.50.